Good morning, greetings, and salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. These kids are eating breakfast. Are you guys excited for today? Do you know what today is? What? Today is the day you're going to decorate pumpkins. Yay! Are you going to decorate them? Yeah. What are you going to decorate yours, Eliza? Mm. Mm. Inky man. Inky man. Who's that? Bendy. Inky man. Oh my gosh. Bro, no one's gonna have a clue what your pumpkins are. <laughs> I, I want mine to be black and white. Black and white? How about you, Eliza? Black and white. What color is yours gonna be? How about you, Cade? Are you reading over there? Wow, you're so good at. You're so studious. What a good boy. I know, he's been reading since this morning. Oh, now your brother's. Hey, you guys, don't bother Cade because he's reading. Tell me what you guys are going to decorate your pumpkins again. Uh, um, You're going to do Inky Man? What about Jack Skellington? Can we cut them and paint them? You, we're not going to carve them because that's a little dangerous. Okay. We're going to use paint. Oh, yeah. You like paint? Yeah. You like paint, Eliza? Yeah. It's going to oh. be the same as him. And fucking rats. Oh. Hey guys, Mom just got back from dropping <laughs> off the kids. And she is making Panini. breakfast paninis. Oh my gosh, we got some tomatoes. We didn't have any regular ones, so we're using these I little know. cherry tomatoes. Oh, these are the flavor bomb. These are so good. You guys, these are the best cherry tomatoes ever. Look at Eliza He's trying to get his little fingers in it. Eliza, hold on. Oh, wait. He loves these. Here you go. Just he and I just eat them like grapes. <laughs> But we're making the paninis. There's turkey bacon, or turkey bacon. There's turkey. This is fresh basil from the garden. We have avocado. We have some, what kind of bread is this? Focaccia bread? Shiabata. Shiabata, there you go. Shiabata. Ooh, some cheese. Yum. And I don't, we don't have the other cheese. We only have that. We only have that cheese right now, so. And here is the panini grill. In a bowl, baby, hold on, baby. Wait. Right now, we just finished eating. Our neighbor was over. We all had breakfast together. It was super fun. The kids were playing. But right now, we're going to cut and dye mom's hair. Her blowout still looks pretty good from yesterday. She needs to like brush it out and be fantastic. But look at that grow out. So we're going to dye her hair, but we're going to cut it first and then just do a touch up on the roots. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I just cut mom's hair I cut it and then I layered it and then I cut her bangs a lot more and then now we're going to dye it all right you guys so I finished mom's hair and they went to go pick up the kids and I have been getting ready for the kids to decorate their pumpkins and I was gonna get like the big table but I actually think this is gonna be a lot easier for them because it's like their height and this table I can clean up very easily and we're just gonna use some water based paint that I can just wash off anyway so I think their little table is gonna be the best and easiest way to do this and yeah so my sister has the paints upstairs um, and when they get home we'll just like lay it out for them and they can start painting and I still have no clue what I'm gonna do <laughs> if I'm gonna um, I want to I think I want to carve some pumpkins I might have to do that on my own because I know if the kids are there um, seeing me carve pumpkins they're gonna want to carve them too and I just don't trust them enough right now to use the carving tools especially the baby um, so they also have some little pumpkins right there I can't find the other one I think Eliza took it to his room um, so yeah right now pumpkins oh I think they just got home Oh, are you guys ready to rumble? Oh, you're hungry. You're going to eat first? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, mom's hair is done and it looks fantastic. Look at those layers and those highlights. Wow. And highlights the, the swoopy bangs. Highlights. That's my natural highlights. Those are the highlights that I've been doing for you. <laughs> that are still natural looking and beautiful. Right, kid? Huh? Right? We're gonna this house. <laughs> you excited for painting your pumpkin? Yes. Mm. Dress them in my pumpkin. Dress this in your backpack like a thing. Okay, so mommy's going to paint or draw what you guys want, and then you guys are gonna paint it. 
Yeah, that's good. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, that one's gonna be yours. Okay. okay. So we're gonna do bendy first. No, the black one with no eyes. Oh, look at Eliza. He's covered his in gray paint already. Wow. So I bought this electronic cutting tool. Whoa! That is intense. Cool. Alright guys, so my pumpkin, I kinda I drew out my my thing that I wanted to do. Um, I'm gonna do like this is like Oogie Boogie Man. This is like a kinda like a scene I think from um what's it, Nightmare Before Christmas. So I just did like a rough outline of Jack Skellington and Sally. And then it's like the Oogie Boogie Man, he's kinda like a mountain, and then it's gonna be like the moon behind him. So that is what I'm gonna do. Um I hope it turns out well. John's over here, he's still scripting out his pumpkin. He started a little bit later than me because it took him a while to figure out what he wanted to do. And what are you gonna do, John? Calcifer. He's gonna do Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. And I'm kinda jealous, so I, I'm gonna try and find another pumpkin so I can do another. <laughs> but look how pretty it is right now. Ooh, Disco Beaver. And this is what the kids are working on. The neighbors actually came over and, um, <laughs> Oh, there's Eliza. He's like running back and forth. He's going back outside. Close the door, baby. They're all outside in the front. All right, you guys. I literally finished my pumpkin so quickly. So here it is. Bam. Can you guys tell what it is? It took me a long time to get that little leg gap in there. So I, I don't think I can do hers. It's too intense. But John's over here still trying to draw his. He's doing calcifer. I'm gonna go get a candle for this. Okay, so right now mom's making dinner. Mom, what is this called? Um, beef. Beef. Um, tapa? Tapa. Ah, beef tapa. Beef Delicious. Tapa. She whipped this up in like one minute and it's cooking. Okay. So let me show you guys the pumpkin so far. I think we're gonna have to do a continuation tomorrow because the neighbors came over, the kids were playing, Eliza had an accident with his toe. <laughs> <laughs> and John has to go to school. John has to go to school, but he's working hard. And for some reason, I successfully finished my entire pumpkin. <laughs> Look at that, Jack Skellington. I have to be. All right, you guys, we have breakfast for dinner. We got our beef topper right there, and then some eggs right there. We're gonna eat it all with the rice. Yeah. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you my pumpkin with a with a with a, with a light with a candle inside. So it's a battery powered candle, of course. But look at it's so much more like more impressive when it's lit up. <laughs> and I don't know, I, I like it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below if you guys have done your pumpkins. I kind of want to make another one. Uh, yeah, I think I do. It was pretty fun making this. And the kids did not finish their pumpkins at all. Um, we got they got sidetracked when my neighbor came over. But um, I think they're gonna finish them up tomorrow. And I want to show you guys John's pumpkin, but I want to show you guys his pumpkin when he's actually here. So um, the lighting was like weird over there. But I'll show you guys um, his pumpkin when he gets home. If he gets home, well, when he gets home tonight. But he's gonna be late, so probably like tomorrow. So you guys can check out his pumpkin. But he came out pretty nice I think it's fun so um, plus I love the movie um, of the character I love the character and that movie that he did so uh, excited to show you guys what it is and I'll actually show you guys did I tell you guys what it was I don't know if I did I don't remember <laughs> anyway right now I'm gonna go walk the dogs and I'll be right back with you guys all right you guys I walk the dogs and now I'm here with John who just got back from school and we're gonna check out. Okay. It's not that bad. It looks pretty good. Look at that. Ooh. Could have been better. Ooh. It kind of looks like Ronald McDonald. No. And it kind of looks like. Nah, it's Calcifer. Yeah, bro. Come on. Yeah, it's Calcifer. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and burp, 
Look at this beautiful beauty I have right here. Now, I don't remember if I ever showed you guys this amazing Celine wallet, but it is calf hair and regular leather. Um, I believe it might be lamb. Um, so it's like, I think it's, okay, so it's like a golden yellow. And then this is black, I believe. I think it's black. And then gray. So, super excited. Um, and it's in pretty good condition. I mean, um, we need to just, like, address a couple little issues here on the corner. There's some, like, threads coming up a little bit. Um, some edge coating. And, um, some cleaning that we have to do. So, that's pretty easy. I think we're gonna clean it first before anything else. And so I'm really excited to do this with you guys right now because I know a lot of you guys have been wanting a more handbag rehabs. So here's gonna be like a little mini one um, for the end. And then I can answer like some Q&A questions at the same time, which I think is gonna be super fun. Hopefully, hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys like this. Um, so I'm gonna be cleaning and working on this while I answer some questions. First question I have here is, from Anne Marie Walker, hi Hadrian. That trunk with creepy pictures in it was awesome. How much was it? Thank you for sharing. Um, you, I thought I told you guys the price in the video, but I think, ooh, that is cleaning up nicely. Um, so I think it was like 35, between 35 and $50. I, I don't even know if you guys can see, but I feel like in real life, you can really see like the cleaning transformation that is happening with this guy right now with just this leather conditioner. I love this leather conditioner so, so much. It's like a miracle worker. It really is. Look at the back. Look how dirty the back is. Can you guys see that? Let's see how much of the back we can clean up. So. Um, with leather conditioner, I always get, like, people asking how I clean my goods and everything. I Everything that I get, I always clean the leather. That's, like, the first thing that I do. So every item, um, like, in the shop and stuff that I put up there, I always clean everything and condition everything with um, leather conditioner. Now, you can't use this on every type of leather. You can't use it on Nubuck and Suede. For that, I have a special Suede and Nubuck cleaner. Um, which I'll show you guys, um, I've actually shown you guys in other videos, so if you guys check out my handbag rehab, um, video section, you will see it there. Oh, uh, see this little thing, that's kind of like a little scratch, so we can't completely remove that, but, um, it's like, it's not too bad. So we cleaned up the back, let's do the sides. Some of this like has a little bit of um, shape loss in the corners, but I think that if we just like close it tight and keep it closed for a little while or have something on top of it, it'll regain its shape. But, so we cleaned up the leather. Now what I do about these little the little strings like this that come out right there. Um, those are usually so in between, usually what's sandwiched in between the leather is something called interfacing. And interfacing is usually like some sort of fabric or like, um, like a rigid fabric or something that helps, uh, keep the, not only for the, um, item, like keep its shape, but also, uh, to like reinforce it to make it stronger. And sometimes, I mean, that's what the edge coating is for, so it doesn't pop through, but sometimes when the edge coating gets damaged and, um, used, see, I just, like, pulled out even more, um, then the interfacing can come out a little, and that's, like, totally okay. So all you have to do is just, like, cut it off as much as you can. You can even use, like, the, um, the scissors that you use for sewing. And then what I do is I just use a lighter. Now, this is, uh, if it's, if the item is leather... Your leather should be totally fine, and you can just like burn the strings, and they'll just like burn up really nicely, and let's like go all the way back down. Um, be careful with pony hair though, because the pony hair will catch on fire. Oh, there's a little bit more dirt here at the bottom, which we're gonna clean up right now too. I missed it. 
And yeah, so that's just like a little thing that whenever like the little strings pop up. And I feel like that's like a thing like people are scared of, those little strings that pop out. Honestly, it's usually just nothing. It's just the interfacing. So do not worry about it. And then um, you can just paint the corners or paint them up again with a little bit of uh, acrylic paint. And that'll kind of reseal the corner. So we have a couple corners that we're going to repaint. There's some right there. You can see like the white. And then a little bit right there on this corner as well. And the interior here. And there's a little bit more of this. It's, coming. it's just like, oh, it's just coming out. Look at that. It's crazy. So we are going to just cut that again and then burn it. And then we're going to paint it. And for painting um, the edge coating, I always just use Angelus paint. That's my favorite. It's my paint of choice. Was there any more? I thought there was some right here. So again, this one you're going to have to be a little bit more careful of because it is right next to that pony hair. So you don't want the pony hair to catch on fire. There we go. And yeah, looks fantastic. Very exciting. Okay, so let me get my black paint. And I have all the items that I use for my handbag rehabs and stuff linked down below in the description box of like every video that I have. But the Angelus paint is my favorite. It's safe on fabric, it's safe on leather, and it's very flexible and it dries quickly. And I, I really like it. Uh, my other favorite thing about this too is that you can actually use it to dye fabric. So when you're dyeing an item, say you have like a white bag that you want to dye black or whatever color, if you need to dye, see like right here the fabric um, of the zipper, um, you cannot use leather dye on that because it will harden the fabric and it'll make it difficult for the zipper to open and close. So for something like that, what you do is you get a color of acrylic paint that you like, and I, I always use Angelus. You just water it down with a little bit of water, get a paintbrush, and then you just literally just paint across the fabric. And if you get some on the metal, just like wipe it off with a cloth before it dries. Or if um, you miss a spot, you can just get a little bit of rubbing alcohol or nail polish polish remover and put it on the hardware and that paint will just come right off but it'll def it'll just dye the fabric and it's gonna be like it'll look fantastic so um, I have done numerous videos on that as well if you guys want to check those out but for right now um, what we're gonna be doing is just painting up these little corners and stuff uh, but for right now with you guys I'm not gonna do the inside because I want to do the outsides first and then I'm going to do the inside another time. Actually, I'll do it all with you. I'm just actually going to fill this up. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, what is it called? I'm going to put some paper in here so that it just stays open like that. And that way I can paint these corners and they won't actually accidentally touch and get on to the gray leather. So I think that'll actually be fantastic. Let's do that. I have some... I literally have a bag of like <laughs> like paper and stuff like whenever I get packages or anything I always save the paper and like packaging stuff in case uh, I'm going to use it like if I want to use it for a filler for a bag or for something like this but never use, okay, for your bags also, please never use newspaper. Never, never use anything that has a print on it in general. Always just use, like, paper that does, like, like this. Like, that, that doesn't have anything on it. Please, 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 I can't stress that enough. Because that is partly why, um, bags get color transfer and all that stuff that we don't want to happen so um okay so i just have some paper in here this is totally fine it's going to protect everything and i'm just going to use just have like an extra box right here so i'm just going to use this as a surface to work on top of so i don't get anything on my table and yeah it's gonna shake up the paint just a tad bit and let me answer some more questions and do a couple more 
shout outs for you guys. Oh, Gloria Evans says, tables are cool, great find, going to look awesome outside. Thank you so much, Gloria. I am so excited for those tables. Um, oh, actually, check out today's video, this morning's video, the thrifting video, because um, I show you guys the haul of what I ended up getting from St. Vincent de Paul, so I'm excited about that. But right now... Um, we are just going to paint up these sides. You don't have to do anything really special. Um, you can use like a different paintbrush if you want, but I just use... This is like a little... It, it's almost like a nail polish. I think it is like a nail polish thing. Actually, it's like the brush on a nail polish, so... I'm just gonna paint like this whole side. Just so that it looks uniform. And... It's super easy. It's going to let that dry. See how awesome that is? Like, it looks fantastic. And I'm just going to do this inside corner right here. Yes. Oh, this middle. I want this middle part to open even more. There we go. So, then we will do this interior part. And then that's going to, um, that is going to reseal the edge coating. So the interface isn't going to be popping out anymore, like the strings from the interface won't be popping out anymore. And then let's do this little corner right here. So this is super easy to touch up. And I know edge coating is like one of the first things to go on any bag, really. So it's just such an easy thing to fix. And then if you accidentally go over a little too much, you can just get your finger and just there you go it's super easy you can even just get your um your what's it called like a towel and just like put a little bit of conditioner on it and just like clean up the side so you don't get any marks on your leather that you don't want and then we'll just go back and do this so it's super easy, and if you make any mistakes, it's always easy to fix it. Oh, let's answer some more questions. Sorry, I get like sidetracked. When I do handbag rehabs, I kind of like get in the zone, like auto zone. Get in the zone. <laughs> oh, okay, so here Alicia commented and said, No, Hadrian, it, work, it, it does work. It takes hours for it to initially get cold. I thought the same about mine, and it took maybe 12 hours to get to 39 degrees. Had it plugged in ever since, and we love it. Oh, man, so she's talking about the fridge that was at the Goodwill. And you know what? I, I know I didn't vlog it, but I did go back. Oh, blind me. Did I just, like, get paint? I'm, like, not paying attention, you guys. I'm awful. But, um... I did go back to the Goodwill today, and I know I didn't vlog because I totally forgot the camera, and I was literally just, like, running out to go to the post office really quick because I had to drop something off, and then, um, I wanted to buy supplies for our pumpkin carving.
See that? That just cleaned up beautifully. Like, even though I got it on the leather. As long as you get it, like, really quick, it's totally easy to get off. But, um, so, yeah, I checked the fridge. It was unplugged. And I feel like someone accidentally, like, like I don't know what they did, but they messed with the fridge and it no longer... Uh, the LED screen or LCD or whatever it's called screen um, isn't working properly anymore which is unfortunate and it was unplugged so um, the temperature did not change on it but now I can't even tell what temperature it is because the screen little thing does not work anymore so I don't know I guess someone might have gotten frustrated with it in the store which is sad and then um, messed it up so unfortunately I'm probably not going to be buying it even though it may or may not be working. But, um, I don't know. I'll check up on it again the next time I'm there. And I will hopefully be able to vlog it and have my camera with me. But, um, yeah. There we go. So, this whole side is pretty much done. I am pretty excited about how it's looking. Let me see if there's anything... There's like a little bit right here on the corner that I want to do. And I keep moving out of the frame, which I apologize for. Have um, any of you guys done any handbag rehabs recently? I love it when you guys tag me in your rehabs um, on Instagram. So if you guys have rehabbed anything, Please tag me and like I will feature you on um, in my stories or even here on in a YouTube video. I'll do that too. I think that'll be super fun because I love seeing you guys learn and I love seeing what you guys um, end up doing. So definitely let me know. Tag me because I would love to see what you guys have done to your... Uh, pre-loved or um, older items that just need a little TLC because just a little love can get your bags looking brand new again and I'm a little like OCD when it comes to the edge coating sometimes so okay so I'm gonna leave that um but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today I had a blast I'm just going to let this sit let it dry and then I'll probably hit up the other side but it's gonna be the same thing as it is as it was right now um while we were doing this so thank you guys again you guys are the best um oh let me do oh like we gotta do a thrift shout out our thrift shout out today goes to actually um it was from instagram where is she oh ah, i already lost the comment where did it go oh he no that's not it uh, oh, it is Antoine, An Antoine Lynette, Antoine Lynette, yeah, Antoine Lynette, she found an amazing coach bag, this is what it looks like, so Antoine Lynette found this amazing coach for the low, low price of $6.99, so congratulations, Antoine Lynette, that is a amazing amazing uh she picked it up at henderson north carolina from a family thrift store and i cannot believe she got it for six dollars 99 cents so congratulations on your amazing find that is so awesome uh i feel like coach bags are one of the bags that like they overprice uh, a lot of because they're so recognizable in thrift stores so it's always amazing to find them at like any price cheaper than ten dollars so um congratulations and thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today i hope you guys had fun um i hope you guys enjoyed this little handbag rehab um i sure did i feel like um i keep forgetting to like fix this guy up and i can't wait to use him um i've actually been using him for a little bit already and i gave him a little bit of a rest 
But now that I'm dying him up, I cannot wait to get him back out there um, in my wallet rotation. Plus, I love the size of it, you know? It's such a great size. It has card slots. It has a zipper. I can have, like, my iCards in there. And then I can put my battery in there, extra SD cards and all that. So, anyway, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm talking about this wallet so much. But um, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out this morning's uh, thrifting video. It's the haul from St. Vincent de Paul. I'm really excited to share with you guys what I ended up getting because they had some awesome stuff. And then don't forget to check out tomorrow's new video. It's up at 7 and the new vlog up at 2. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all later. Bye. Hey guys, I found them. They are actually outdoor bistro tables from West Elm. Uh, I saw like the collection right here. And I'm trying to find out how much they are um, normally. But I, th I like them. I think I want to put them outside. They're not, like this one is a little damaged. I might not get this one. Let's look at the other one. But I mean, for 69. Yeah, this one looks like it's not damaged really at all.